Hello, Teacher Pad here with another unboxing video. Oh, <laughs> yes, I have a tendency to be buying stuff for my classroom, but this was something that came out on Facebook. You know how you have all those ads, but it was a digital microscope, and I thought this was so, such a cool idea to just um, use in the classroom for maybe younger children who don't know how to use a compound microscope that most high school students do. Um, I am a contracted science teacher. I go out with uh, uh, to teach different uh, students. I've taught Montessori students. I've taught private, public, uh, you name it, homeschooling groups. So I thought this would be really something fun to try and see if it really does a good job. All right, so what did I pay for this? $30. <laughs> yes, if you saw my other video, <laughs> that was uh, the uh, gooseneck lamp light. That was also around $30. But anyway, so I purchased this item let me go ahead and pull it out of the box. It's a sleeve that's a little tight over the top. Okay. And in the box are four items. So the first neat thing is this little stand. Um, it has the clip and it has the tightener knob and an adjustable um, part of it. And then the base. All right. So, um... This is plastic, this is not metal, so it's very light. All right, and I like that, that's pretty cool. But you have to be gentle with it because to me, this is very kind of cheaply made, which, by the way, uh, this was made in China, <laughs> yes. And I am a teacher who teaches children English in China. So if you're interested in teaching English to children in China like I do through the internet, click down there below my uh, video and then you can go and see some information about that. All right, so that is the base, the, the, the stand that holds it. And then you have a little disc, um, a little disc which is the driver for the camera. Well, not so much the camera, but the microscope itself. However, it has a wonderful feature where you could take a picture of what you're seeing. And hopefully at the end of this video, I want to post up some of those pictures that I took. I'm going to readjust this. Another item that came in here was the microscope micrometer calibration ruler. It's very, very tiny. And, um... You can use this probably for high school students. I would not use this for younger children. It is in English and Chinese. <laughs> All right, but that's something cool, a little extra. And in the driver, there's actually the driver for the, for the microscope itself, which I'm about to show you. This is the apparatus right here. And, and this is the USB port. USB port goes into your laptop. So you click this onto your stand like this. Well, that's easy. Whoops. Let me go back up. There you go. Click it in the middle. Uh, let me go back. See this little ridge? Let me see. Can you see that little ridge right here where my finger is? That's where this goes. So you want that to snap into place. Okay. So, um, just so you know, let me kind of give you a little rundown on what everything is. Okay, you have a zoom button right here, and you have a snap button. To tell you the truth, I think the snap might be the camera. I'm not sure. I actually took my pictures by going to the app on and I'm going to show you the pictures in a minute, uh, pictures, um, at least one picture. But at the very end, I want to put all the other pictures. So make sure you look for that. All right. So this right here 
is your focus. You move your finger back and forth to focus while you're looking at your laptop. While you're looking at your laptop. Okay, so I have one already set up. And this is my laptop. And as you can see, the detail, believe it or not, that is my tablecloth. You could see the fibers in the tablecloth. I think that is pretty good. And I mean, it looks much better on the laptop than it is gonna look like on this video. So that's why I wanna add those pictures towards the end. However, I almost had a panic attack. I'll tell you why. <laughs> I had my camera. Uh, let me do this on top of some coral oh and it took some really good pictures but I, I hopefully I can put those pictures in and I had it on top of it I kept moving it around and then I discovered oh no it's got some scratches ah, my investment is down the drain but no don't fear I discovered this pops off it pops off, yay! So really this is a little protector shield and you do not wanna stick anything into that area because if you do, you're gonna mess up the camera. You're gonna mess up the camera. So you wanna have this little protective shield and then when you want to look at an item, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. you you're going to have to Let's say I have this leaf, right? You you're taking off your cap and you just set it right on the leaf, okay? And hopefully I can get, put up a picture of that so you could see it because it's too hard to maneuver this and then the laptop at the same time. But it's great. I could even see little hair-like projections that are on the leaf. It was amazing. I even did it also on a, a, a seahorse. And you could see the chitinous area of the seahorse. I just put it right there. And again, do not stick it inside. You will ruin it. You will ruin it. I mean, I already ruined the little cap with some scratches. However, I did buy two of these. <laughs> so my other one is in better shape now that this one is scratched but um i even put it in the palm of my hand however the palm of my hand you could see some but not that great not that great it, it's not so um detailed i guess there isn't much to it now if you tear off a piece of your skin and um, i re uh, don't go do that <laughs> uh, i'm sure it would look interesting i'm sure even blood a drop of blood would show up pretty good but again you would have to set it on something and it would have to be I would suggest you might keep the box you might keep the box it came in because you could put your specimen in the box let me see where did my you could put the specimen in the box like this let me see if I can hold it up and you could see what I'm suggesting. Okay. And you could put your camera right here and you just set it on there like that. And it, it would be good just to, you know, for children to, to learn how to, oh, wow, you should see those little hair-like things. I mean, it is cool. Let me see if I can set this down so I can move the laptop so y'all could see it. Hold on. I am, I am astonished at the detail. I mean, I've used microscopes. I've been teaching for five years. And I am just astonished how this little gadget, which you would think nothing of, you know, it's made, it seems very flimsy, made very flimsy. Uh-oh. Oh, it took a picture. Okay, let me go back. Did you hear the camera? It tells you when it takes a picture. All right, I'm back to the screen. Mm. And
and I'm I'm holding this in the box. All right. I'm going to try to show this to you. But look, you see those little pointy things? Those are the hair-like projections on the leaf. Yeah. I tell you, it's pretty cool. I mean, it really is. I'm excited. I'm excited to use this in my classroom. I hope this has helped you. Remember, there is that little cover cap, that little cap, that you don't want to put things inside. And really, you could keep this on. It was working just fine with the cap. But now, because I have scratches, and you could actually see the scratch on the laptop. I mean, I, my heart sank. But I'm so happy that it does, you can take the cap off and you can put it directly. Just don't put anything inside. Well, I hope this has helped you. And this will maybe be an encouraging thing for you to get one too, to have around the house. I think it's cool for kids to be able to observe the microscopic world. You know what is on your cell phone? Oh, gross. But I don't know if you can actually see it on, on, on this microscope. I should try it. I should try it. But go just look up on Google. Cell phone under a microscope. Ugh. You need to be cleaning those cell phones, people. They are really the worst out of all the germs that things that have germs. So just like your mother told you, you women out there, don't let nobody use your, your brush. Don't let anybody. Well, you don't use somebody else's cell phone because they are full of microbes and they can get you sick. <laughs> With that note, I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this video about the digital microscope. I'll see you next time.